This video tutorial will cover the creation of the shipping file in the shipping module of WebLDMS. If you have not viewed the previous videos on setting up a batch, adding contents, or the QAQC process, please do so now. Once you have selected the contents for your batch and performed QAQC, you are now ready to create the shipping file. The shipping format has already been set when you created your shipping batch. Click the Edit Ship button and it will return you to the Pending Shipment Preview page. Down in the bottom center, we have been using the Save button as we created our batch and changed any of the settings on the batch. Now that we are ready to ship, you want to use the Ship button to the left. Click. You're asked to confirm that you wish to ship this pending shipment. Click OK. This page will appear once the LDMS file is being generated. We see the completed file has been downloaded and has been placed in the Downloads folder. Please review the settings for your web browser to see where your downloads are saved. This is the file that needs to be transmitted to the receiving laboratory. Click the close button and in the shipping menu select shipment history. Once you've created the shipping file an entry in the shipment history page will be made. Over to the right in the drop down menu next to the view button is where you'll get your final paperwork such as your manifest and your shipping container report. You can also re-download the shipping file if you need to. Thank you for watching this video. Further information is available on our LDMS website at www.ldms.org under the Resources tab. You may also contact our 24-7 User Support Department. The contact information is in the Contact Us page on the website.